Hello everyone, my name is Sam Hunt and I'm an engineer on the Simscape multi-body team. I'm going to talk about simulating package delivery drones. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the use of variable mode joints for abstracting the level of detail of contact modeling in package delivery drones. Joints in Simscape multi-body currently support two modes, normal and disengage modes. Variable mode joints are those which can change between the two modes during simulation. These videos show the use of variable mode joints for ejector seat modeling, joint failure mode and fault analysis, as well as trailer hitching and decoupling. Variable mode joints are easy to use. Let's use a simple package delivery drone as an example. The package is connected to the drone via a weld joint and the mode of the joint is provided by input. You simply change the value of the signal to request a mode change and Simscape Multibody does the rest. The mode signal is initially zero to indicate the joint is operating normally. When the drone reaches the target, the signal changes to minus one to set the mode to disengage and the package drops to the ground. To pick up the package, the mode signal is set to zero. The joint operates normally again and the drone flies away with the package. When changing from normal to disengaged, the kinematic constraints of the joint are deactivated and the two frames of the joint are free to move unconstrained. When changing from disengaged to normal, reactivating the kinematic constraints has two phases. The first phase is satisfying the position constraints of the joint. When the mode signal changes from disengaged to normal, Simscape Multibody automatically adjusts the positions of the bodies in the mechanism to satisfy the kinematic constraints of the joint. When the errors in the position constraints are non-zero, the position adjustment is non-physical. Here I have a disengaged weld joint with a position offset. When the mode signal changes, the position offset is eliminated, causing a jump in the position of the package. There are many situations where this flexibility is useful. Before my package is delivered by a drone, it must first be sorted at a facility. Here I have a simple conveyor of packages. I want to sort blue packages from red packages. I want to run a long simulation, but I know that only four packages can be on the conveyor at any given time. I therefore use variable mode joints to quickly and easily recirculate the minimum number of packages to perform a long simulation. Highlighted is a variable mode prismatic joint attached to the blue package. When the box is dropped onto the conveyor, the joint is disengaged. When it disappears down the chute, the mode is set to normal to bring it back to the start. This reuse allows me to create a simpler model, minimize the state vector, run longer simulations, and see where my mechanism needs improvement. I can already see a point of weakness in my sorter. I've had many packages run through the system by reusing just four. The second phase is satisfying the velocity constraints at the joint. When the mode signal changes from disengaged to normal, Simscape Multibody automatically computes and applies the impulses necessary to bring the velocity errors in the kinematic constraints of the joint to zero. The computed impulses induce instantaneous changes in velocity. Consider this example. A ball is thrown at a drone, is instantaneously caught, and the drone settles back to the starting position. A second, more massive ball is thrown and requires larger impulses to bring the velocity errors to zero. This results in greater momentum transfer between the ball and the drone, causing larger overshoot in the position. Looking at the linear momentum of the mechanism, the momentum of the ball ramps up when it is thrown, and when it is caught, there is a step change in the momentum of the ball and the drone while the total momentum of the mechanism is conserved. Putting this all together, I can now perform a full package delivery simulation. Variable mode joints allow you to abstract the level of detail for contact modeling. The simple interface and automatic constraint satisfaction allows variable mode joints to be used in many situations. I was able to reduce the complexity of my model by using variable mode joints for all contact points. This allowed me to focus on the real problem, creating the controller for my drones to deliver the packages right on target.